Uh, today is Sunday. Hi, I'm Quinn. Uh, I'm Quinn, by the way. Uh, if you haven't, uh, this is the fattest I've ever been. Uh, just a weird thing. This is needless footage, but I'm I'm kind of required to like part of. There's some things. There's some backroom secret deals, but uh, we're gonna go maybe take a look at the car. I don't know if this footage will be used for this, but. Yeah, we're gonna go take a look at the car. We haven't, I actually haven't really seen it since, I've seen it before, haven't seen it since. I, I guess you don't know what's happening and I'll, I'll kinda let you know what's going on. So um, there is an automobile at a dealership with an exploded motor, making the car kind of worthless. And so my job is to, uh, to, to pick up that car at some point this week and uh, put a not exploded motor in it. Tomorrow I'm supposed to go over the mainland and acquire a non-blown up motor. So if all works out, I can put a non-blown up motor in the spot of the blown up motor and things like that. So yeah, it's a, it's a 2017 uh, Subaru BRZ. And in Canada, it's a Canadian version, so it is a BRZ. Dun, 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 dun. I think, yeah, this is the guy. You can see our drift school stickers already on the, and look at the full array, the full array of drift school stickers. I guess, yeah, the hood's open. I technically kind of own this car, so we could probably take a look. Um, I would feel, I feel a little weird because they don't know we're here. <laughs> we're propping the hood. So, uh, yeah, the motor's out. Obviously, the clutch is out. Lots of clutch gunk in there for a pretty new car, but it looks like they did an okay job taking everything out, so I'm hoping that all the parts are there. I don't know for sure. We got the devilish ABS unit, which needs to get yeeted. Those are heinous. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. We got some interesting wear back here. Is it a small fire? I see some heat almost weird i don't know i don't know did he have a battery explode i think that's a battery explode although there's like some weird going on down here oh there's a bunch of weird going on down there interesting a little rusty back there so that's weird that's a little bit weird we just looked at the car and i feel a lot less intimidated by it there's a little bit of strange wear on the firewall. It almost looks like a, a gentle little fire happened when the rod let go or something. Something happened there. Um, otherwise, the rest of it just feels far less intimidating, if that makes sense. Just seeing the car, seeing how small it is, and seeing how big the engine bay is. What? What? He's sipping. So... It, uh, it turns out that they have now changed the rule today that we have to wear face masks to the ferry. There's no problem, I'm okay with it. I just, it was dumb and I forgot some. Right but we're gonna grab some, and in the process of grabbing some on the way to the ferry, we ran into Derek's automobile. Dun dun, it is lovely. Ta-da, it's a Mark II Blit, if you were curious. There's the man himself. Yeah, let's do the, let's do the zoom in. There we are. <laughs> Ta -da. It's lovely. Yeah. This is maybe, if you're watching this and you're not from like Vancouver Island, this is a normal thing. Is any, any time that you want to go anywhere, <laughs> anytime you want to go anywhere, um, I don't know why they're waving at us, but I'm okay with sticker. it. Ah, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, anytime you want to go anywhere, you have to take a ferry. So this yeah. is totally normal and it's a part of the expenditure that you have to get into when you're trying to get parts from Vancouver to Victoria. It's <laughs> totally normal. <laughs>
think we found the place? Did we find the place? Okay, it looks like we found the place. We're in a nice, nice neighborhood. We're in a nice neighborhood. So that's good. That's so far good sign. Free, free, free feelings is good sign. But we'll find out. Number one sign. Uh, do you want to roll your booty back and then uh, park it here? Uh, bop. Yeah. Bop it off. So we're gonna try to fit a motor into this. Wait, we'll start with the logo. Oh my god, let's do it. Let's start with the logo. We got the power logo. movers. Oh my god. There you go. There's the man there. <laughs> Free advertising. Yeah. Uh, uh, really and smooth. here is the motor. Ta da! Oh, he's engine. even got the light on it for us. Wow. And that's our. We got. Te we're testing. We're no, doing leak no down. Clue what we're we're testing. being those annoying guys that come in like like touch all the products in the grocery Just store. Wait for when we lowball them, five hundred dollars. That's the plan. That is the plan. No, 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 that would never work. There's like ten people coming like tomorrow. <laughs> okay, that's After fair. Guys, fucking leave. I get a bunch of phone calls. <laughs> what we're gonna do then is we'll charge them the five hundred dollars for the leak down test, that's so you can it. confirm. No, I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. By the way, it's got transmissions as ins. I'm curious about said broken point piece. I don't actually. I'm not familiar with, which yeah, is totally okay. Do that's just an extension yeah. for the shifter assembly. Like, top, top. if you wrecked your trans, you could just pull that off your car and put that piece on. Hell yeah. No, it's not wrecked at all. It's like it like hooks into a bracket. Oh yeah, it's probably for uh, bushing or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Actually, what we're gonna do here, and I always forget. There's a really good he's, trick I'm forgetting here. Speeding. So he's we're speeding. gonna we're gonna thread this boy in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gentle snug. It does not need to be tight. And then snug and tuck. You do this. Oh, you can feel the yeah, pressure I'm in stupid. your fingies. You can feel the pressure in your fingies. Can we see those tools? These are the tools right here. Check it out. That's the tools. The thumb adaptory. tool. Yeah, thumb I didn't tool. know you were into hookahs. <laughs> And when you take, so it turns over really smooth, but you have a very like very noticeable like oh, there's compression feel to it. So that's Liam, by the way. Oh, there it goes. He's my personal and professional mechanic. Yeah, he's also my chauffeur for today, and the the bank for the ferry because ferries are expensive. We're just trying to set this up so that. Do you guys have a knife? Oh, I don't have my pocket knife. Don't have a knife. Do you have a knife? No knives. Oh, no uh, knives. <laughs> put this down. Oh my god, dude, that would be dope. Yeah, man. Right? This is great. Oh, yeah. Look at how nice these guys are. Look at this. Yeah, Look at this. Ta da! So we'll we got our yeah. transmission. Dope. We have our yeah, free sex that. pillows of some sort. Sex pillows. Well, they're Actually, full body cuddle pillows. Dude, can we this? spray paint your face on this? Yes. Yeah, you can cuddle me all you want if you'd like. There we go. And then we have the gentlemen with their things and the, the motors over there. We'll see how it goes. So we uh, we filled the memory card on the on the camera. That's a FA20 there. You can see our ratchet straps. If you look a little bit further in the back, you can see the transmission there. Uh, yeah, uh, Liam <laughs> did a great job on getting the motor. Ah! Big bumps. Oh, Big bumps. This is so scary. It's so loose. This is uh, my final epitaph. So uh, it was nice knowing you. This motor is gonna kill me. Um, if we do die, uh, please scrape the brains off the engine before you install it in the car. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's actually uh, um, it's 8 a.m. Uh, it's the Thursday. It's a little bit raining, and we're just uh, on like our only a minute or two away from the dealership. I'm grabbing some some breakfast nugs because I like the Burger King nugs for breakfast. They're so good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go pick up the BRZ. So we have a tow arranged. Uh, I got a little bit of cash, so that'll be some money towards the car, um, and hopefully the, the tow is affordable. The big thing I'm actually worried about is the steering lock and the column. I've never had a push start car before, like, like well, I've had push start cars before, but not ones with a button. Uh, <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, I, I don't know what it's going to be like to back this car down a driveway with no motor, and no battery in it so i don't know how that's going to function hey 
<laughs> it looks like the tow truck's already here, so it might be a minute or it might, this, this might happen quickly. I might not have to get a chance to do much video, but I'm excited. This is happening. So we got the key. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's this is, uh, yeah, weird. Uh, so the car's on the back of the truck. I got a bunch of extra parts in the uh, in the cellar here, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Not entirely sure. Uh, so the car is home, by the way, and now I'm getting interviewed. <laughs> so that's that's what's happening. We're, we're, uh, is it, what's the name of what? Like, if I wanted to find what's happening from your end here, how do I? Okay, um, I have a YouTube channel, but uh, it's not a lot of content in there. It's called Black Cat Drive. Black Cat Drive. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Is there spaces or like periods or underscores or? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I like that. I, I appreciate my, the honesty. I know it's my channel, but I'm not sure about it. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do an interview here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's neat. These these are the gentlemen that came, they came to interview me today. This is this is the gentleman who has offered us said automobile. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh man. We got to this part of the video and I realized I haven't actually told you the story of what's happening. The gentleman in black that you see there, uh, his name is Thomas. He's kind of a private bu private guy, but he's a, a good private guy, if you want to if you want to call it that. And he uh, bought the car brand new in 2017. He's an ex-autocross champion. He wanted to learn rear-wheel drive stuff. So he spent the last three years doing track days, uh, both like grip track days, drift track days, autocross, drag racing, and it literally every weekend. And the car never stopped moving within those three years. He's gotten good use out of it, but when the car died he had already purchased another a new porsche replacement and instead of selling the car he wanted to contribute it to me and uh that's a lot and it's a hard thing and it's it's heavy and it's super nice of him um it comes with some caveats though it's not just here is a free car and wander away rather here is a good opportunity for repair to this car and you can use it to get a bit more seat time yourself i often don't get a lot of seat time at, at events and also kind of if I can offer or get other people some seat time. So I run the drift school and a couple other things here in Victoria. And so it, it's not just uh, to hand me a free car, but rather to hand me more opportunity. And so uh, I a big thank you to Thomas. And if you are if you see Thomas, if you're at an event, just please give him a big thank you. Because uh, I don't I don't <laughs> it's it's so big. I don't know how to I don't know how to do a proper thank you for it. So, yeah, that's. I just wanted to, I just wanted to add that little bit. We got here and I, we we're missing that chunk. Hey, it, <laughs> so we're here now. We've we've arrived to the end of our video. Um, where we're leaving off is there is a motor in the garage. It's literally right behind my hand. It needs to go into there. Um, I'm a bit worried about the transmission. The tow truck driver just took took note that it was a little difficult to get it uh, out of gear if and he wasn't able to. So I'll have to take a look at that. We do have a spare trans, nicely enough. Um, but I do want to say a big thank you to to uh, Thomas for the automobile. Uh, it's kind of like a wild thing. I, I I don't know how to thank enough. Um, wow, it's a heavy weight. But um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, we'll end this video here. Uh, thank you to all my the, my patrons who who follow me and are are very generous to me. Um, uh, and thank you to Platform Garage who is helping us with this and everybody else that's giving me a, a big hand. I appreciate it. Um, check out Harry's channel if you get a chance. And yeah, we're going to get this motor in and that'll be our next sort of thing here. So dun 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 dun. Thank you for hanging out. Bye.